لو أغزو ثم أقتل ثم أغزو On September the 11th, 2001, Al-Qaeda challenged the United States. Basically, bin Laden said jump, and Mr. Bush and Mr. Cheney said how high. Al-Qaeda's goal? To create a clash. This crusade is going to take a while. To unite the world's Muslims. They want to put this in religious terms. They want to put this in civilizational terms. To start a war. Blood everywhere, uh, shattered bodies everywhere. That doesn't have anything with Islam. Islam is not like that. This is the story of that war and how the United States very nearly lost it. We did exactly what they wanted. In 1993, an American historian, Samuel Huntington, came up with a new theory. Chris, I am uh, flattered and uh, very delighted to, to be here. Huntington noted that the United States was living in strange times. Four years earlier, the Berlin Wall had come down, taking the Soviet Union with it. But this posed an intriguing question. With the Soviet empire gone, the United States had no credible enemies left. Who could possibly confront them? Speculating on the future of warfare, Huntington lit a spark that was to create a conflagration. What will be the fundamental nature uh, and source of conflict in uh, this new world? In the future, he suggested, Wars would no longer take place between countries or states. Wars would be fought between different cultures. There were two likely candidates. Huntington wrote of Islam and, and the West and of this, this inherent struggle between the tenets of Islam and the modern state system as being the focal point of what he see, saw was a coming clash. This centuries-old military interaction between the West and Islam, it seems to me, is unlikely to decline in the future. Huntington and predicted a coming conflict and gave it a name. Both sides of uh, this uh, divide are coming to see uh, this interaction as a clash of civilizations. Huntington's thesis had a very mixed reaction, and there were any number of people that saw it as fear-mongering or hate-mongering, that also saw it as the as, as, a as a deliberate effort to sort of recreate the Cold War. To others in the United States, the suggestion of Islam and the West as rivals made perfect sense. Christian nations were generally peaceful, moderate, liberal. Islamic nations were different. For years, the Middle East had been in turmoil. Terrorism, hijacks, revolutions. To these people, Islamic fundamentalism was a growing threat to the West. The fault lines had been there all along. There were others who seized upon it as being uh, enormously perceptive and impressioned and saw that as the defining principle of really power as we approach the 21st century. To those of this mindset, Huntington was right. A clash of some sort was inevitable. In the Middle East itself, others were coming to the same conclusion, but their reasoning was diametrically opposite. For decades, the United States